Teacher Tony here with VIP Kid, and I have been off for snow for several days, and so I thought I would use this time to make some more helpful videos. Hopefully they're helpful. Um, for those of you who are just getting started or even if you've been in the business a while. But our focus today are, is props that are essential for when you first start and then things you might want to add as your business evolves. Well, I'm sure if you're like me, you started doing this to make money and so you don't want to spend a lot of your money at first on props for your classroom. So if you join a Facebook group called uh, VIP Kid Props and Rewards, there are teachers who have taken the time to put some things in the files um, that can be printed and we refer to these as 2D props. And so some of those things are the people like this that can be used for the people in my family lesson, level two, I teach two and three. So that's what I'm familiar with. Um, also, they have some pictures like this that are beneficial in many of the level two lessons. Um, so yeah, 2D props are the way to go in the beginning. You'll also need a set of flashcards. And if you can find them where the upper and lowercase letter are separated, this is um, really important. And I also already had these on hand, but these have the upper and lowercase letter together, which I use for my sound cards when I want them to tell me what sound um, that a letter makes. So flashcards are very important in the beginning as well. Um, something else that's really simple, you can make your own. This is a star wand that I've made on my own, just paper, and I, I think this is a skewer from my pantry. But when you award the student a star, you get a star. You know, this is just kind of fun. Um, Dollar Tree actually sells them like this, or you can get a little fancier like this. And another one from the Dollar Tree as well, it will be your favorite store, is this one that lights up. This is a favorite with a lot of them. Their eyes just like, ooh. So, you know, changing up your stars is fun. Um, another thing that's important when you're getting started is some sort of microphone. I found this one at a yard sale, probably paid a quarter. And um, there's hello songs and goodbye songs where they need to echo you. And so you sing and then they sing. And so a microphone's really handy. Dollar Tree has those echo microphones that you can use. They even have some bubbles that are shaped like a microphone. So get creative and figure out a way to have a microphone. So those are really the basics. You can print basically anything that you need. But as you evolve, um, you'll realize that you can even pull toys if you have kids and not even have to spend any money. So like there's a lot of lessons that cars are um, used and um, a stuffed animal that has arms and legs for the um, parts of my body unit. Um, let's see. Oh, whiteboard. You need a whiteboard when you're first starting to um, write things on. Um, let's see. Okay, then if you want to get more specific to your lessons as you get familiar with what you're teaching, um, food. If you want to buy a set of food, Amazon has this really great set. Food can be used in so many different lessons and kind of help extend um, the conversation. Um, those lower level lessons, which are not my favorite, but um, a keyboard is nice. Um, you probably all have headphones because you teach with them, so your headphones are good, and a mouse. Not only to learn that this is a mouse, but there's part of the lesson that says I can click a mouse and you can hear and see the click and kind of show them how to circle if they're struggling with that because that's hard at first. Um, another lesson is the furniture lesson. And so Dollar Tree, like I said, great place to go, has doll furniture that is really useful for this lesson. So, of course, you need the doll, my toy lesson, and furniture lesson. So, in the dollhouse furniture, they have a table, a chair, a bed, and something else in that lesson is a wardrobe. 
Well, we don't always use that word wardrobe. You know, we might say a dresser or a chest of drawers, but not in this lesson. So turn it around and make yourself your own wardrobe to use. Another useful tool for the doll is in that lesson they need to know that I sleep in my bed. And you can model that. Of course, you can do TPR, but it's also fun to be able to model it that way. And I sit in my chair. So a poseable doll like this from the Dollar Tree is nice to add to your collection of props. And I say collection because, yes, you can get addicted to collecting props. I have them everywhere. Now, I will tell you a prop that I ordered in the beginning that I thought I was really going to get a lot of use out of. Not so much. So let me save you some money. I have these little puppets, finger puppets of the animals, and I thought, oh, there's so many animal lessons. These will be great. They're very time consuming to fit onto your finger and use, so don't use them all that much. There is a family set, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, all of that, that I thought was going to be great for the people in my family lesson. It's just too much trouble. I go back to this prop every time. It's so much easier to use. Um, speaking of puppets, um, you will want to have a larger puppet of some sort, and specifically one with a mouth like this, because when you're trying to teach them to answer a question, you can ask the question, the puppet can answer the question. Plus, it's just fun to have them sing along with you. So, I have lots of puppets now as well. Those can get addictive too. So, keep your prop collection under control and happy teaching.